Hi folks, Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru. Here's a beautiful scene. Um, I made this. Uh, I'm making this video 30 seconds after I made the last one. I've just walked along the pipe bridge in Fairfield a little further, uh, with a view of the Fairfield boathouse, and I'm uh, one of two boathouses in this area. They're both about a kilometre away from where I live. Well, oh, there's a lovely circular uh, pattern forming in the bottom right of the image. Wow. Um, anyway, you know, it's gorgeous, um, and I've made it a, a little dark deliberately just kind of for mood um, and to enhance the colour in the lighter parts of the image, the highlights. But here's the problem we often have with photography. Let me just um, move the camera up a little bit higher. Look what's happening now. We're losing a lot of the uh, colour and detail in the shadow areas, you know, the, the leafy trees. And the reason for that is what's called contrast. Or dynamic range so you know in music you've got bass and you've got um, treble uh, in photography we have shadows and highlights and when the difference between the two is extreme the camera can't cope it's very interesting and I think it's actually the the hardest thing there is for photographers to get their head around so I'm now controlling the contrast somewhat by framing the image differently by getting rid of the bright sky Therefore, there's less difference between lighter and darker parts of the image and the camera's better able to cope. Now, we're right at the edge of the day, so the sensor in this iPhone camera is going to struggle anyway. But let's frame out more of that really bright area. And you should be able to see that the, the, uh, the, leafy, the leaves are actually lightening up a bit, the, the darker areas of the picture. As soon as I start to put brightness back into the frame we're starting to lose some of the the impact of those lighter leaves on the left of the frame and then of course if we move up to the sky our goose is pretty much cooked um, it's a disastrous image and this is the sort of image most folks make it sunset because they're trying to get the the bright sky and the darker ground and uh, in a single image uh, you can't really do it now it depends a bit because if you've got a really good camera and if you're prepared to work on the computer you can darken down the highlights and then separate to that you can lighten the shadows and therefore reduce the contrast or the dynamic range but um, that's not for most people most people just want to go click and they expect because they've spent money on the camera you'll get a great image well the best way to uh, um, ensure you get a great image is actually to change your composition which is what I've done here and you know then if I want to I can lighten or darken the image up a little bit but it's a global adjustment that's what happens in the camera it's a global adjustment you're affecting um, you're darkening the whole image or you're lightening the whole image so often the best way is through composition and that's a I think a fundamental tip that you really should hang on to it pretty much every time you make pictures. It's sunset in Fairfield, Melbourne, and um, yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing you in an upcoming video. Glenn Guy, travel photography guru. Thanks so much. Bye for now.